Welcome to my channel. This is an indication of some of the things that I cover on a regular basis in my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, please feel free to do so. And don't forget to click the little bell so that you'll get notified of future videos. Please feel free to share my videos on your social media. And I hope you enjoy the video which follows. Hi everyone. I recently got myself a couple of new toys. <laughs> a light box to take photographs in and a tripod and Bluetooth remote for my iPhone camera. So I've been having a lot of fun with it. The first thing that I photographed is my collection of Moorcroft art pottery, and that's what I'm going to be showing you here quickly, I hope. Hope you don't get too terribly bored. Uh, Moorcroft is a company that was founded by William Moorcroft in 1897, and they make beautiful pieces of art pottery. Uh, current pieces, of course, aren't don't have the great value. They, they cost a lot, but they don't have the great value that some of the antique pieces do. Some of the earlier pieces are worth thousands of dollars. And I'm sort of concentrating on miniatures. This particular one that you're looking at um, is called Forever England. And their little write-up on it says that this stunning collection from Moorcroft Pottery is designed by Vicki Lovett with golden cornfields forming a background for crimson poppies. The stunning collection represents the perfect evocation of remembrance, uh, Remembrance Day. Uh, it, I think in England called Remembrance Sunday. They always have their celebration uh, service on the Sunday prior to uh, the 11th of uh, November. In Canada, it's the 11th of November, no matter what day it falls on. I only have 10 pieces of pottery, so the video shouldn't be terribly long. This is the bottom of that same uh, little piece that we just looked at. I wanted to show you the markings that they put on. Uh, on a miniature like this, they're, for me, they're very hard to read them all. Uh, I'm going to show you three different kinds of, uh, of markings that I in my collection anyway. Uh, but the, the markings are there for the designer, uh, the slip liner. Each one of those areas of color is, uh, has a, a bead of slip, which is liquid uh, clay, put around it. And then the painter, her, their, their uh, ID is on there as well, along, along with the year date. And I guess the engraver, because before the slip liner uh, does their work, the engraver engraves the design on each piece. So there's a lot of handwork involved here. And the idea of the slip lining is that the painter just floods the area inside of that engraved area with the slip lining with the color and it uh, completely floods the, the area that's got the slip lining around it, if, if any of that makes sense to you. But I'll show you some other markings on, uh, on different pieces as I go along. I say two more. These next four pieces are miniatures, all designed by Kerry Goodwin, and they're coming out one a month during the year 2020. One of them should probably have a face mask on it, but I guess that's not going to happen. Um, and they are either flowers or fruit, one for each month. I started collecting them part way through the year, so I will. They uh, they're being released, and there is a discount each month when they are released. But I have I think five or four or five that I'll have to go back and purchase um, after I've finished collecting for the year. There's still be four or five back in the spring that I don't have. Uh, this one is, I say, called Sambucus, and it is obviously grapes. It was released last month in September. Also designed by Carrie Goodwin, this one is called White Rays and was released in April. Uh, I would call it a daisy, I guess. This one was released in August. And it's called Tiger Daylily. I love daylilies. I don't think I have a tiger one in my garden. 
This one was released in July with sunflowers on it, and it's called Sun Worshipper. And that is the four that I have so far. I have already paid for, and it has been shipped, and I've paid the uh, duty and taxes on it by FedEx for the October one, um, but it has not arrived yet. It's, I don't know what the delay has been. It should have arrived yesterday, and it didn't, but it will arrive someday this week, I guess. This is, I think, the oldest one in my collection. It's a sweets dish, a very small candy dish. We put some small mints in, I guess. Uh, I think I'm right in saying that the only royal warrant that uh, Moorcraft have ever had was given to them by Queen Mary, the late Queen Mary. That would be Queen Elizabeth's grandmother, the uh, husband of George V. And this one, you'll see the... Uh, tag on the back of it. I'll show you that in just a moment. But this one was made after her death, and she died in the mid-1950s, but it still has the Royal Warrant involved in it. As I said, I wanted to show you three different kinds of markings, and this is the bottom of that sweets dish that we just looked at. It has a paper um, tag on the bottom. You'd have to be careful in washing it that you didn't lose the, the paper marker. I don't know if that was removed, if the original markings would be under it or not, but they put this on so that you would know that it wasn't actually made during the lifetime of Queen Mary. It was produced uh, sometime in the years following her death. This piece is signed and designed by William Moorcroft, who is the founder of the company. He was evidently was still alive when this piece was designed for Queen Mary. This one is called Kimpersley, named after Kimpersley area in Staffordshire, the Kimpersley Reservoir. I presume that's, that's the sort of water that's protected, depicted there. Uh, as I've said, I'm concentrating on miniatures. This is one of the larger pieces that I own. I have considered listing them and selling them on eBay. Not that I don't like them, they're beautiful, but I am trying to concentrate on, on the miniatures. So I'm giving that some thought. I may do it yet. Now, this is the third kind of markings, and it's on that piece of pottery that we just saw at least the third kind that I have in my collection. You see the bottom mark there in black? That's Emma Bossons, the uh, designer. And then it's copyrighted 2003. Both the slip liner and the painter have put their symbols on there. And at the very top you can see the Moorcroft stamp. So all of that is much easier to read on a large piece than it is on the miniatures, that's for sure. This is another of the older pieces in my collection, designed by Walter Moorcroft. That's the son of the founder, and it's called Magnolias. The last two pieces in my collection are called plaques. You can hang them on the wall. Mine are in a display case on little tripods. Uh, this one is called Queen's Choice. And as you can see, it's figs, peaches, and grapes. Um, very colorful. I really like the things. I thought when I started that I might be collecting just blacks, and now I've changed my mind. Not really a different kind of marking, but I thought I'd show you the back of that plaque to show you that they are also very, very easy to read. And that's another one that's also designed by Emma Bossons. And last but not least, another plaque. This one is called Poppy Harvest. And as you can see, a red poppy and some stalks of grain, wheat, I would guess. Uh, that concludes my little show here of my small Moorcroft collection. I'm just curious if there's anybody in my subscribers who either has a few pieces of Moorcroft or also uh, collects them. I'm sneaking up on 27,500 subscribers now, 
thank you all very much for subscribing. So curiosity got the best of me. I'm just wondering if there's anybody out there that also collects Moorcroft. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video.